Tonight, we are sharing memories of our beloved colleague, our friend, Dr. Max Gomez. He passed away Saturday after a long illness. The chief medical correspondent here at CBS2, Max, was a successful author and a gracious friend who helped many in our newsroom whenever they needed advice. CBS2's Dave Carlin here now with a look back at a most extraordinary life. Dave. Absolutely. I mean, you don't have to be formal when you talk about <laughs> him because he was just simply Dr. Max. Mm -hmm. True. And he really did, you know, bring with him just so much uh, caring. He also did a lot of um, problem solving. And everyone who knew him knew this about him. And he appeared on our TV screens almost nightly for decades with grace and love. Here's a couple of simple ways to keep father time at bay. Dr. Max Gomez had a heart as big as the tri-state area, where he was a steady, trusted source of no-nonsense medical news and life-saving advice. Whether it was on the air here at CBS2 or other stations and networks, treatment for serious diseases like cancer still lagged far behind. Or through a trio of books on health and science he co-authored, he made it his mission to never betray the great trust placed in him. He was born in Cuba, then moved with his family to Miami. He graduated cum laude from Princeton University, earned a PhD from the Wake Forest University School of Medicine, and was an NIH postdoctoral fellow at Rockefeller University. Throughout his exceptional award-winning career, intelligence and restless curiosity combined with his relaxed and authentic manner. Does your EB hurt? He helped educate and reduce the public's anxiety, notably during 9-11 and again during the pandemic. But the key to reopening the economy is massive, accessible, and affordable testing. He led by example, candidly sharing with the public his own health setbacks, including battles with a stubborn bacteria. As we see here, you have some redness and swelling in the elbow region. It's not clear where I picked up the MRSA, although given as much time as I spend reporting in hospitals, it's not that surprising. Joint problems. Dr. Wolf bends my fingers back to break the softened cords. I actually feel them pop in my hand. And a neck surgery. He met dignitaries, conversed easily with experts, and was an expert himself. And in the CBS2 newsroom was a gracious go-to friend, answering our questions about anything relating to wellness. It could be a complex medical procedure or just about anything. He was able to explain it in a very simple way. He took time to mentor journalists, especially those interested in medical reporting. Elena Galan met Dr. Max when she was seven years old and he was covering her medical journey. And later she became a newsroom intern. He always told me to never give up, not only on life, but also on your dreams, your passions, and to keep fighting for what you believe in. Dr. Max Gomez was 72 years old. He is survived by his children, Max the Fourth and Katie. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS2 News. Oh, we missed that, that smile. smile. He was funny, too. That's Very funny. Right? That's the thing people never saw, right? On yeah, TV. Okay, yeah, the flashes Sometimes, of it. Right? I'll tell you, you know, it would be like we'd be waiting in line with him in the hallway, like, look at my shoulder. You know, or you think this looks okay, you know? We wanted that medical advice. Right. I think we actually just wanted a little um, time with him. Yeah. Always, Because right? he's what a class act and a... Wonderful and speaking time. of the sense of humor, you know, I told him my shoulder hurts, and he goes, when? And I said, when I go like that, and he'd say, don't do that, <laughs> you know, and it was always <laughs> like that with Max. Expert always medical a, advice like that. Yeah. a fun banter, but he'd always hook you up with the proper That's doctor, the thing, connections. The proper medical regime, the proper advice, and he was always so willing to help everybody. And right? I really also appreciated his honesty. If he didn't know something, he would say, I'll get back to you. Right, and he did. Right, he knew a lot of stuff also, yeah. but he was just so thorough and caring. It could be months later. How is that X, Y, Z? You good know. memories. Good oh, memories. yes. And we miss them. As we they do it, Channel 4 and Channel 5. Yeah. And here. And Channel I worked with them over at the Yes, you did. Yeah. I know you did. You two did. go way back. Yeah. We do. We do. All right. Thanks so much. Real nice, Dave.